Memorial Day weekend is a popular time for families to enjoy the beautiful beaches, but you can't get into the water here in Coronado. There's plenty of signs like this that say keep out of the water, sewage contaminated water and water may cause illness and people living here are fed up. What do we want? People living in Coronado, visitors and tourists are all urging elected officials to take action. We're furious and we're angry. Memorial Day is the official start of summer. Everybody's going to come to the beach and our beaches are closed because of pollution. I'm wearing this to alert every visitor, every community member, that this is not a joke. This is a crisis in our community. This is a call to action for everyone. For months, sewage spilling over the border from Mexico has shut down shorelines from Imperial Beach to Coronado. We have a crisis. We have an emergency, a public health issue, and an environmental disaster that will get worse if action is not taken now. The pollution stems in part from a broken wastewater facility along the coast of Mexico. It spews about 35 million gallons of sewage into the Pacific Ocean. Once again, the county's new DNA-based water quality testing shows elevated bacterial levels in the water. These are poisonous, toxic beaches to swim in, and we are really, really concerned because we have people going in the water. Our Navy SEALs train in this water. Local leaders hoped the pollution enclosures would have cleared up for the unofficial start of summer and tourist season, but so far, that's not the case. It's disappointing to come to a gorgeous beach like Coronado to relax and says, don't go in the water. The good news is, is a fix may be coming. The U.S. and Mexico have already agreed to invest $474 million to address Tijuana's sewage problem. Money would go towards overhauling wastewater facilities and doubling the capacity of the South Bay International Wastewater Treatment Plant, which services Tijuana. The EPA says it aims to have the projects done by 2027, but until then, tourists and locals will have to deal with the closures. I'll go for a run later, but I'll take a shower inland. If you would like to learn more about future protests, the group group here started a website called StopTheSewage.org. Reporting in Coronado, Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.